Hello, everyone. Hi, hi. Here we go. Take your seat. I'm Excellent. here. Yes. Right, here we go again. So if you haven't seen this already, ladies and gentlemen, rework to the player-owned houses, uh, but here we are, obviously, in Biff Up, um, about to go into your portal. Take us through this, I mean, the entire project itself. Yeah. Uh, basically, um, obviously, something, something, spaghetti code is quite popular <laughs> um, when it comes to trying to upgrade the POH and get new stuff in. So now we are going to rip it all out and redo it. Um, let's go into the house. As you can see, a bit plain, a bit boring. Let's uh, uh, sort so this I out. I say Burfub. I Tavily, Tavily. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't complete I don't think it's relevant, to be honest. Yeah, I'm such a derp. Sorry. Right. Also, the mini-map. I've just realised your mini-map is like this square. Don't need the mini-map of POH. Did you guys just show Osbo? I, I, I assume that's why everyone's laughing. I now know why everyone is laughing. Got it. We had, they had a quick glimpse of uh, Osborne and a uh, custard cream. Anyway, let's, let's, let's bring it back here. So obviously we're in a player around house. Um, what specifically like have you changed? Like, let's go into it first of all. So uh, we have a button which says edit room straight off the bat. I mean, do you want to show that first or do you want to go more into the nitty gritty first? Let, let's see what we've got here. Um, at the moment, this is uh, your basic kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got two doors, uh, but now we are enabling you to swap walls and doors around at the Four directions, so let's give this a uh, right, let's, have, let's have a four door kitchen because that's the flex most flexible. Um, I've got a question actually, I've um, got a couple of questions. I don't know if you'll be able to answer these, but um, please allow us to move rooms in player owned houses without deleting them, please. That is on the list of uh, to do. Uh, it was already prototyped as part of the old system, but that will also need moving over to the new system. Um, it's it is on the list and it's definitely something we'll be looking into adding. Can you place other items in the room or is it only kitchen stuff for the kitchen? You put kitchen things in your kitchen, you put altars in your, your chapel, that's just how it works. <laughs> um, but now what we'll do, we'll kick back to edit mode uh, and um, let's, speaking of the kitchen, we'll uh, uh, Let's, let's uh, customize our kitchen, shall we? So for those who don't know specifically what this is, so if, you, if you've had a player around house, you'll never have the ability to do something like this, which is essentially move around the room as you see fit. So essentially what Doctor's doing here, moving around his uh, buildable placements and essentially making his own room just off that. So you could probably have them all bunched up if you really wanted to. It's really up to you. Can you remove doors with a new POH? You can switch doors to walls, but you cannot remove them entirely. You either okay. have a door or you have a wall. You can toggle the option to have them already open or ready. That's already in game. Got you. But yeah, as you can see, you can move around the room as you wish. So um, you can imagine having, let's say, an altar right next to uh, your door entrance, for example. So, or like, you know, the, the possibilities are pretty much there uh, in that sense. Um, we just answered the question about rearranging the rooms or deleting them. Uh, but we'll keep that on the questions. There's also, I believe, a change that you've made to building things as well? Uh, the actual building of rooms, yes. Yes. Um, I mean, we could do awesome things like, you know, put your table there. That's fine. We'll do that. Um, now when you build a room, we have, uh, I've improved this interface slightly for modifying it. So uh, it's now, fair. you don't need to scroll for miles and miles now. It's now got separate sections for each different uh, type. Um, just cleared it up a bit, bit easier to use, and you don't need to spend 20 minutes scrolling out to try and find the room that you want. So there you go. So yeah, nice little, essentially kind of an encompassing uh, thing as in, in itself. So you know you can move the stuff around. A nice updated menu for when you're building things, as you saw the edit menu as well. You can kind of just move it around. Got some nice reactions from the chat, which is always good to see. Um, is there anything else? We've well, done the prototype, building doors, walls to doors. Um, is there anything else on Floating the Floating shelves. Floating shelves. Yeah. I'll fix that later. <laughs> um, is there any other plans as such for this as well? Or is it just essentially trying to make it more efficient as such? Um, it's an efficient, efficient, efficiency upgrade because um, the loading into it is a lot faster. Mm -hmm. um, we will be leaving in the loading screen. You know it's not necessary because people love, there's no place like home. It's their home, they want that loading screen. Um, we'll probably add a toggle for it. There you go. So yeah, just to, just to confirm. So obviously if you watch on Saturday, we're like, no, don't take away my precious loading screen. You can, uh, we may have a toggle option that means you can see it all the time or just uh, untick it and you can load straight into your house. Um, 
can we rotate already built rooms? So if I've come into the game after, let's say, this update has gone out, can I go and change my rooms already? There is, because uh, you can change where the doors or things are in the room, the room rotation no longer matters. You can rotate things within the rooms. We could add the option to rotate rooms, but now that you can have doors wherever you want to on each side, it's not as necessary as it was before. Um, but we definitely look into moving rooms without having to rip the entire thing out because having to take out expensive things only to then move it one square along is a little bit silly. So if I was a player who had like 20 rooms prior to, let's say, this update coming out, if I log back in, will I still have my house and will I be able to just go in and edit as is? Uh, we will try and maintain as much of your original house as possible. Mm -hmm. There's a chance that some of the layout will change because there may be some hotspots that we feel weren't suitable or could be improved, so those will be removed. Um, there will be probably no new additions to in terms of rooms as part of this update because this is a systems update rather than uh, adding new content like the aquarium. For sure. Amazing bit of content. By the way. <laughs> um, and so we, we it be an opportunity to move things around. If you've already built something in a hotspot, we'll allow you to move it. So you won't have to strip down your altar just to move it one square to the left. So I just saw someone who said, I can see tons of bugs with this update. Just to clarify, I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see it. There is a big brackets prototype in the menu. Just to clarify, this is, I think it's safe to say in development terms, this is nowhere near ready as such in that, no, no. In that sense. This is strictly uh, a prototype uh, that was done over a few days. Uh, in total. So everything you see here, obviously table hanging outside the room is a bug. <laughs> um, I just thought you might find it amusing. Obviously you will not be able to do that in when it goes live mm -hmm. because no. Obviously, you know, uh, we wouldn't want any odd collisions and stuff, but um, is there anything else in regards to the showcase and things or? Uh, no, or I did, I did see notice? someone comment um, your statue in your, I think it's in the study. The statue, yes. Yeah, we, don't worry, I'm not going to remove that because I'm... Oh, what should I? No, 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 it's <laughs> no, fine, it's fine. I'm sorry? Questions on the iPad. Oh, ooh, we've got questions on the iPad. Yeah, I should probably oh, not fine. have let that now. lock that. Yeah, we're getting oh, pretty fancy, okay. Me. So, um, can we remove walls if two of the same room are next to each other? Um, no, there'll still be a door there. So it's door or wall, you can't have nothing. Could you turn the building room interface to have tabs for each category? Um, specifically, I, I mean, you kind of have, right? I, 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 think, I think they mean, uh, you mean this one. Yeah. Um, could it be tabbed? Um, possible. At the moment, it's, it is set up by category, but that would mean a tab would only have three things on it, and then this tab would only have six things in it, and most of them are still in that one. Yeah. So I think at the moment, this one makes sense. If we were to have more outside type rooms and more dungeon type rooms, maybe it could then be tabbed. But I think at the moment, this, this, will, this will do. It's a good suggestion. Awesome. Uh, and the other questions are to do with adding content, but that's clarified already by Doctor. This is to do with um, essentially optimizing the system itself. Um, and the last question, I guess we'll end on this one from Zenil, which is, is there a possibility to be able to place things where we want? So for example, we can have an altar next to our sink. No, unfortunately, you know, sinks belong in the kitchen. And ch and uh, what was it? They the used? altar. The altar doesn't belong in the kitchen. You don't prepare <laughs> food on your altar. There you go. All right. So I think um, if you're fine, I think that's everything in regards to that. But that is just an example of a couple of days' work of a rework of a player-owned house, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. If um, they've got any questions, they can tweet at me, Jagex Doctor, and I'll uh, answer them. Absolutely. So if you're any more.